Hello everyone, my name is Silver Willowing and today I want to show you something very, very large. So I got a package today. That's what we're dealing with here. Just huge, huge, huge package. Um, so I don't want to get my hopes up too much actually because I'm kind of scared that he's not going to be as big as I want him to be. You know that feeling? I don't know. Uh, but inside here is a toothless plush. The new toothless plush from Posh Paws for How to Train Your Dragon the Hidden World. Which is very exciting and I just I want to get him because he's a giant plush and he's like one of the newest plushes. So we're gonna open up and see just how large he is. So first step is to get the tape of course. But it's actually quite um, loose so we can do it and see just how big this new plushie is. I feel like I'm gonna get so disappointed because the box is so freaking humongous. Because already now we can see that there is a lot of space here. There's no thing, he's just, he's supposed to be in there. Okay. That is so underwhelming. Uh, but let's just see. We got a little bit of a package here. <laughs> That's almost ridiculous. Look at that size. He's still pretty big, as you can tell. Um, he says it says he's 90, 90 centimeters, which is um, what in inches? I'll put it on the screen. What it is in inches? Um, so let's just get him out of the wrapping. So he was curled up a little bit, to be fair. He's gonna fold out now as we release him more. Okay, now we have his butt. His butt is able to come out. And that's it. And there we have it. I mean, he's still large, let's just get everything in order. So the wings, there's like cardboard inside the wings to make them stand up. They're of course a little bit misshapen from the shipping, but they hold up. And he has these secondary tail flaps, they're kind of loose, they're really attached. They're kind of bent, it's been a rough uh, transition for him, but a lot of his scales are also kind of roughly uh, down a little bit. Um, his tail is as well, look at that. His freaking uh, tail fin. He has the red tail fin. There we go. Just take a look at that. It's a very, very huge head. It's very cute. Mine is a little bit uh, to one side because the shipping again was kind of hard on him. Uh, but it's a very decent head. He actually looks very cute. Um, so the plush just looks very, very not like toothless. But this one is relatively okay. He got two plush ears. His main ears are kind of, they have filling. And then there's just the smaller ones that is just fabric. The one on the top of his head as well when he got his spikes on his face. Uh, so yeah, he's a very very big headed dragon, uh, that's for sure. Got his uh, small toesies, also with this, and he even got his uh, claw details here. Not claw, spikes, spike details here. So that's very impressive. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty big still, I mean I thought it was gonna, the box was like so uh, over the top, but it's still a very very big plush. He's, uh, he's quite large. Um, I like him. I like him. They could be better of course, but for all the plushes out there, I think this is one of the better ones. Because it's big and it's cute. And uh, it's just very cuddly. It's very soft. It's got this amazing um, scaly fabric on him. Probably hard for you to tell. But yeah, you can see scales here. They look very very nice. He has that all over his body, which is a huge uh, plus because it's just such a nice detail and it's very very soft so definitely a nice little cuddle buddy uh, so <laughs> shipping like I said did rough him up and his toes are a little bit curled up as well and uh, there are some things to work out but all, all in all a very cool plush not as large as I hope but still very large just look at that when you like compare the faces his head is bigger than mine so definitely was still like a colossal uh, colossal to this <laughs> So like, I guess, yeah, he fits it, but still it's a very, very large box for, for what he actually is. He's struggling so much because that head is like colossal. It's super cute, but it also makes it really hard for him to actually live and be a dragon. But super, super cute. 
a very nice size and uh, nice proportions, his legs are great. He's got these big chunky legs and this chunky body. He overall looks like Toothless just with a giant head <laughs> and the plushies are often like disproportionate and everything. Uh, so he's doing a good job on that, very very cool, very cool. Uh, so he has his ups and his down but ultimately I, I like him, I think he's very cute. So one thing that's really interesting is that we will actually also be getting this plush uh, but in the Light Fury. The Light Fury is going to get one just like this, of course it's going to look like her instead. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to that and that's also the reason why I wanted to pick this one up. Uh, because then I'm gonna get the life here once she get out. She's not out yet, but she should be very soon as the movie comes out in more countries. Uh, I'll be getting her as well. Uh, because they're really nice plushies. He's very cute. Uh, very big hit and very adorable. So yeah, I definitely like this guy. Uh, he's got amazing details. Hey. 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 She was crying on the other side of the door, I kind of had to let her in, I'm sorry. But yeah, I think that's... <laughs> that's. Oh, she got so spooked! Hey, it's toothless! It's toothless! Hey! Hey! It's just toothless! See? She'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you consider picking this guy up, I got mine off Amazon, so you'll be able to find him there. And hopefully we will see the light series soon as well. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. So long, Dragon Riders.